Hi, I'm Chris Blakeman, and today I want to talk about Bernina sewing machines. Bernina sewing machines are notoriously a high quality precision sewing machine and have been for over 80 years. Today, what makes Bernina sewing machines great are certain manufacturing items inside the machine chassis and inside the machine that all Bernina machines have, whether it's the top of the line, Swiss made Bernina sewing machine, all the way down to the small machine heads. Bernina just puts certain things into their machine to add high quality to the parts so you get the best sewing and the best precision. And I just want to talk about some of the nuanced things about the inside of the machine that makes it a superior precision sewing machine. So one of the main things a lot of my customers ask me about as a Bernina dealer and as a Bernina salesperson and a technician um, and also an educator is I'm really concerned that they'll ask, I'm really concerned about the electronics of the machine. And isn't there more that can go wrong with an electronic sewing machine having electronic components and circuitry inside of the machine or even a touchscreen interface with a computerized system on the inside? And the honest truth is that there's just as much risk as th uh, for things to happen to an electronic system as any computerized appliance out on the market. The best thing to do is to just make sure that any computerized appliance, whether it's a sewing machine, your home computer, any appliances that have touch screens on them, electronics, are plugged into a safe outlet and that maybe even you use a power conditioner. Not just a surge protector, but a power conditioner that conditions the line in so that the power doesn't drop down or the power doesn't rise up too high. Another good thing to do is to use different circuit breakers in a room uh, for a computerized precision machine so you're not sapping power from the machine so it can do its job properly. One thing may be running irons on the same circuit as a computerized machine. That's one thing we can do to prevent damage to electronic components. Past that, these machines are so durable and long-lasting and long lasting from a mechanical standpoint and on the electronic standpoint um, I can confidently say that these machines have just as much longevity and durability as any of the old exoskeleton style machines where they had metal bodies and no electronic parts on the inside. We just have to understand that we're working with an electronic machine and from there we're good to go. Bernina's had certain components like these stepping motor systems, these little half dollar shaped circular electronic motors and they're sewing machines now for almost 30 years. These systems precisely control the adjustment of the feed length and then also the needle bar swing of the needle bar. You can actually see when I move that needle bar back and forth, the stepper motor moves back and forth and the needle bar moves when I manually move that back and forth. We can see our needle bar articulating back and forth stepper motor over here controls our feed length and so when we set the length of the feed system this motor sets it to exactly the length that we want. The advantage is that when we use a particular setting for length the machine is at that length no matter what. So if I turn the length up so that it's a very long stitch or I turn it down so it's a very short stitch machine puts it to that stitch length no matter what. Okay, so that's the advantage of this precision machine adjustment here. And we can actually see on this newer machine, when I turn this knob, the adjustment changes to exactly what I want it to be. And the stitch goes down and the stitch goes up. Okay, older machines had knobs with a range and you would adjust the range with the knob. Sometimes you could get very close to the setting that you want, and other times the stitch wasn't exactly the same. So the advantage here is we know exactly what the length of the stitch is. Same thing with the width. When we change the width, we see exactly what the width is, and the machine gives us a readout to show us exactly what it is. Okay? So we can be very precise in our settings when we change it stepper motor goes to exactly where it's supposed to. So this is a huge advantage and it's something that all Bernina machines have now. All the Bernina machines are stepper motor controlled for precision. Another advantage of the stepper motor controlling the swing of the needle bar is that when the needle goes into one place, 
maybe to do a zigzag, it goes right, left side, okay? The needle doesn't move until it's in its highest position, then it shifts. Then it comes down, takes a stitch, shifts to the point where it's supposed to go. In a mechanical system, sometimes the needle can actually swing in mid-stroke, or if the machine's out of service and dryer mechanically out of adjustment, it will actually swing in the fabric, okay? This will never happen with this electronic control system. It will not get that happening where the needle swings in there. It will just only switch when it's at its highest point in the swing of the needle. Okay, it's called rigid needle position. And it's provided by the stepper motor system. So that's another advantage. Okay, so in our electronic stepper motors and precision machine controls, marinas are infinitely adjustable. We can adjust any aspect of the stitch, any stitch, because of these systems. So that even the lowest line marina, we can control the length and width of every stitch that it offers, all the way up to the top of the line machine. Okay, now every Bernina machine also has an independent bobbin winder. So we can actually see here that this bobbin winder has its own motor. There's a little motor. If we look on the back, we'll actually see it's a cylinder motor. And when this is engaged, our bobbin winder winds independently of the main motor in the machine. Okay? So that means we can actually wind a bobbin while we're sewing. And that's the advantage of this independent bobbin winder. Okay, so we could actually go ahead and wind a bobbin and then go ahead and also sew at the same time. So we can multitask with the Bernina sewing machine all the way down to the lower line machine, all the way up to the top of the line machine. Okay, Bernina machines also have a special finishing for parts in the machine where thread travels, on, thread guides winding mechanisms, uh, and even the pressure feet have a special chrome polish finish to them. And we can see this is a very shiny thread guide here that's been finished in such a way where the thread passes over it very easily. Okay, and Bernina has special processes in their factory where they finish these thread guides and their pressure feet in such a way that we have a very smooth, high quality finish. You can see the bottom of that pressure foot. It's very shiny and smooth because it's been polished and has a chrome finish to it. And that allows for consistency when the fabric moves over it uh, and the guides. It allows for consistency when the thread moves through the guides um, and they don't get worn out over time as much as well with these high quality finishes in the metal. Um, they've been doing this for decades. Uh, Bernina's had this high quality finishing in their factories for a long time tradition of high quality machine manufacturing uh, that they still incorporate into their high end uh, sewing machine that's made in Switzerland as well in the 880. So when we look at this machine, well, we also see some other things that are very unique to Bernina. The top of the machine up here has a weighted counterweight system. So this counterweight up here is specially designed and spins in such a way to mitigate torque. So when the machine head runs at a high speed, this counterweight spins take vibration out of the head while it runs. This way the machine can't run away off the table while we're running it, okay? Bernina also has a patented counterweighted system in the back of the machine. And this counterweight counters the action of the drive mechanism to also reduce torque in the base of the machine. And this is why a Bernina machine is so quiet when it runs. It's also why a Bernina machine doesn't vibrate as much when it runs like other machines, because of these strategically placed counterweighted systems, these mechanical systems inside of the machine. Another phenomenal aspect when we're looking at the back, back of the sewing machine is this DC motor system. Bernina's use a direct current motor system versus an alternating current motor system. So that way, the motor always has full voltage going to it. So even when we run the machine at the slowest possible speed, it will still pierce very thick layers at a very slow speed. And I actually, because we have a Bernina machine set up here, I can actually demonstrate this very easily by just uh, putting a standard foot on the machine. And what we'll see is that even when we run the machine at an extremely so slow speed, it's gonna pierce with no problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and set the machine up just for a straight stitch. 
and we're going to fold this layer of denim into three layers so we have a three layered seam and I'm just going to stitch this uh, three layer seam up so that's three layers of denim that we've stitched together okay we're going to take those three layers and fold them on top of themselves so we have nine layers of denim and then we'll go ahead and we'll turn the speed down actually we'll just go ahead and stitch this now what we'll do is fold another three layers on top of the nine layers and we're gonna let the machine go ahead and stitch that and we can see even at the slowest speed the machine will stitch 12 layers of denim and the needle does not hesitate and the machine does not hesitate it just stitches through all 12 layers and the direct current motor system really helps with this a lot because it always has full torque it always has full power going to it okay and so this is actually something that even the lowest line Bernina will do in, and the top line Bernina, we could actually do more than these 12 layers with this upper line system. Um, but uh, we can stitch through all this really thick, thick fabric at the slowest speed. When you stitch at the slowest speed with other machines, they're not going to be able to handle that. And a, a big reason is going to be that high quality direct current motor system inside of the Bernina. Now another thing that I'll point out in the drive system of the machines is there's going to be four bushings, two on the bottom, one at the rear and one at the other side of the drive system for the hook. And then in the top of the machine, there's one on this side and another one over here kind of, it's hard to see because of a circuit board. But these bushings are high quality bushings, they're called center bushings and they're created in the factory high temperatures and pressures with heat and impregnated with oil. So these bushings hold oil much longer than conventional bushing systems, which is great because it makes a Bernina run smoother. Those bushings extrude oil over time and they don't seize up like other bushing systems. So Berninas have four center bushing systems that are high quality bushing systems to allow the machine to run at high speeds, um, be very precise, and and not need to be uh, oiled as often as other lower quality machines. So that's an advantage, okay? Another great aspect of Bernina sewing machines is that all Bernina sewing machines have an automatic needle threader. You'll see this machine has a needle threader here that comes down and pulls the thread through the eye of the needle. The more high-end machine has an auto threader system that will actually thread the needle automatically without having to use a hand threading system. Okay. But all of the machines have uh, a needle threader built into the machine. That's just something that Bernina does. Another aspect of Bernina sewing machines is that this thing in here is called the hook basket. The hook basket actually is what grabs thread off the, off the needle with the hook. The hook is removed from this machine, but we can see the basket right here that carries the hook and it's integrated into the frame of the machine. This is actually inside of the machine, it's part of the frame. Many other systems, the hook is actually hanging out in front and it's bolted to the machine. Bernina designs their frame so this is in the frame of the machine. It's very solid, they precisely machine the parts so it fits in very perfectly and it can run at high speeds and precisely grab thread off of the needle, creating a lock stitch. Another great aspect, this system here is our feed dogs or the feed teeth. The feed teeth are machined with very small little teeth. There's actually two rows of teeth on each side of these and a set of teeth on the rear that has three rows of teeth on the rear. Bernina feed teeth are very high quality and stamped in the factory so they have all these small teeth on them three times as many teeth as most standard domestic machines to provide for good quality feed so that it holds the fabric through with no problem and controls it very well. And if we watch these feed dogs, you can see that they rise, they shift the fabric and come down. 
they rise, shift the fabric and come down. It creates almost a box shape as they come up. They come up and engage the fabric, shift to feed it, and then go down. Okay, so the, the fact that it moves like that, almost creating a box shape like a square, gets more engagement on the fabric, shifts it, and then comes straight down. Many machines actually move in an elliptical or oval shape. Okay, and the problem with that is when it's grabbing fabric, it's grabbing it at kind of an angle at one point, not very effectively feeding the fabric, whereas Bernina directly engages the fabric, shifts it, and then comes down. So the shape of that feed system is superior. Some call it a box feed system. So box feed, superior feed teeth, center bushing system, superior drive motor, chrome static polished finish parts, so that consistency of the thread movement and the fabric movement through the machine creates a perfect stitch that looks amazing. There's many other things I'd, I'd love to talk about for you as far as the quality of the frame um, and other things, and I'll do other videos on that as well. But those are the, the base things that when you buy a Bernina sewing machine, you get it, whether it's the entry level machine, all the way up to the top of the line, precision Swiss made sewing machine. So thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe at the bottom to get more information on sewing machines and more information on sewing news.